Welcome back. I'm Madeline Schmidt. Earlier in the broadcast, we showed you what some considered an underwhelming snowfall in the metro. But outside the so-called Albuquerque Bowl, it's a much different story. News 13's Jackie Kent is live in Tijeras with the latest. Jackie. Madeline, just about 17 miles from Albuquerque's downtown, you go from just a little bit of snow and ice to all of this. You can see there are still several inches of snow on the ground all around me. We're in blizzard conditions until tomorrow morning, but this could still keep up until, you know, all weekend. Gary Ratliff of Tejera says this is the heaviest snow he's seen in two years. The East Mountains got hit hard overnight, eight inches in parts of Tejera and almost double that in parts of Edgewood and the Cedillo Hill area. Meanwhile, south of Albuquerque, an icy I-25 made for treacherous conditions, even causing at least one accident headed to Los Lunas. That's since cleared up. North of Albuquerque in the town of Bernalillo, people are still shoveling ice and snow from, their, from outside their homes and businesses. NMDOT says its crews continue to work around the clock in 12-hour shifts, shifts to keep the interstates clear. Really keeping an eye on the radar and tracking the storm and just trying to stay ahead of it as best as we can. To be fair, Albuquerque did see some decent snow, but only in the Foothills area. APD has closed its Foothills substation because of the weather. People are encouraged to instead use the Northeast or Southeast substations. Now, NMDOT is recommending that you stay home and you don't drive in these conditions, but if you need to, they recommend that you check out nmroads.com or call 511. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Jackie. So what comes next? Here's meteorologist Connor Lewis. Well, one thing we know, Madeline, is that that snow is not going anywhere. If it's in your yard, it's going to be sticking around for a week, maybe more. Temperatures are below freezing right now, and we are barely going to get out of the freezing zone. Wednesday morning is going to be our coldest temperature of the week. Teens in the northern mountains, Taos 19 degrees, Alamosa at 17 degrees, along I-40, everyone below freezing. And we're near freezing in Alamogordo, trying to get closer to that freezing mark to start seeing those accumulations. Rodoso, 14 degrees, fluffy snow over there. Roswell also getting some light snow showers. The freezing line, not a concern the further east you go over there. Wind speeds have been a major factor in our weather, still 23 mile per hour sustained winds, which is actually probably low enough to start seeing snowfall in Albuquerque. However, it's just not possible. We've gone past that potential, so snow showers not looking likely in Albuquerque anymore. And those blizzard conditions will start to subside once we get into tomorrow morning. Still quite breezy in the Sandias, Manzano Mountains uh, near Edgewood, but once we get to tomorrow morning, not seeing any of those, any of those blues near the metro. Things are getting much better. The snow on the sides of the roads will stop blowing on the roads, so the sun, as it comes out on Saturday, will be able to help improve those roads. Meanwhile, the roads are getting worse towards the south. That storm is still going strong between Alamogordo, towards Roswell, Carlsbad, also going to get some winter weather with those winter uh, storm warnings still in effect for you guys. So I'll have a closer look at the remaining storm coming up my forecast in just a bit.